Hello and welcome to the North Garland High School Magnet Overview. My name is Natalie Matthew and I'm the Magnet Advisor and I can answer any questions you have related to any magnet program here at North Garland High School. My email is on the screen for your convenience as well as Jacob Garza, our P Tech Counselor. Our principals are Michael Ariola, Trent Dagan, and Keith Thompson. You may view our promotion video on our website. First, let's go over Magnet and Choice of School dates for your convenience. All Magnet applications open on January 6th in the Family Access of Skyward. Applications close on January 27th. You must have a Family Access Skyward account in order to complete an application. Choice of School dates end on February 26th. This is your backup Choice of School in case you do not get selected for a magnet program. Deadlines for you to post, excuse me, the February 24th is when your results are posted in Skyward for your magnet results, and you must accept your magnet seats by March 3rd in order to keep your seat. If you do not accept your seat, you risk losing your seat to someone on the wait list. Magnet application and choice of school are two separate forms. You need to complete both in order to complete your application. All magnet program information can be found on the Garland ISD website, including information for elementary, middle, and high school, as well as FAQs and timelines. You also qualify for a bus if you apply for a magnet program and get accepted. If you live outside the two mile radius of your school, you will be able to get transportation. You can see the website tool for more details. Current North Garland programs here are Math, Science, and Technology, or MST. We've had this here for 20 years. Accelerated Math and Science, or AMS, we are in our fifth year. Pathways in Technology Early College High School, we have two pathways, Associate of Applied Science degree for Network Administration, and an Associate of Science Pre-Med Pre-Dental. Next year, we will be adding an early college high school component with an Associates of Arts degree and an Associates of Science degree. To compare all four programs, you do need to apply to enter all four programs. MST, AMS, PTIC, and ECHS all require you to apply in Skyward. They all are eligible for bus transportation. All eighth graders can apply. The only difference between the two major programs, MST and AMS are traditional magnet, which require a MAP testing score. PTEC and ECHS do not require any minimum test score to be able to apply. ECHS and PTEC allows you to experience college while in high school. You're walking across the stage, not only with your high school diploma, but your associate degree. We accept 125 students per program. The perks of being in an early college experience, you can participate in high school extracurricular activities such as band, drill team, cheer, um, out, outside clubs such as student council, NHS, and you can actually start taking college classes your freshman year. You start by taking one or two so you can get used to the college atmosphere, but also to support that transition from middle school to ninth grade, it, you'll be in an AVID class. This helps you learn study skills and how to become a college student and how to manage your time. Another perk of being in an early college program is that you're in a school within a school. Your classes are housed together in a wing of the school, so you're close to your teachers and all of your classes and you have the convenience of getting to class on time and not far away. One other perk of early college programs is you get free textbooks and a free associate's degree. Not a penny will come from you for any of the programs. You are getting 60 hours of free college credit. You will be at the North Garland campus for your 9th, 10th, and 11th grade years, and your senior year will be spent at Dallas College Richland campus as you finish out your degree. You also earn GPA points for all classes on your high school diploma. ECHS is also 60 transferable credits to most four-year universities, again at no cost to you. It's a general pathway and a great choice if you're unsure of what you want to do. Most professionals have to get core classes out of the way before they move on to their specific 
course requirements. So whether you want to be a future doctor, lawyer, businessman, accountant, you still need to have general core classes in college. P-TECH is a little more specific. We have two pathways, pre-med and pre-dental, and also a network administrator pathway. Again, all Garland High Schools have a P-TECH program, but you can select the P-TECH that fits most with your wish. If you would, for example, if you like to work on cars, you might want to consider South Garland's automotive program. If you're wanting to go to medical school or learn how to be a network administrator in Cisco, you would apply to North Garland for our P-TECH program. P-TECH is very similar to ECHS in that you do get your 60 hours and associate degree, but we're also tied with a business partner in the community to work on internships, field trips, guest speakers, and any hands-on experiences that we do with our partners. Our, our partners for medical are Parkland and UT Southwest Stars, and our college partner is Dallas College Richland Campus. This is just an example of what the pre-med degree plan looks like for your 9th through 12th grade years. As you can see, each year lists the potential hours you're earning for dual credit. And by the 12th grade year, most of your classes will be on that Richland campus. This is an example of the P-TECH Network Administrator degree plan. Um, again, the dual credit classes are in yellow, and you can see as you increase towards your 12th grade year, you're taking more dual credit classes as you become closer to going to that college campus. How can you be a part of ECHS or P-TECH? All 8th grade students in Garland ISD are eligible to apply. Again, there are no test scores required, just apply. Ideal candidates are motivated, determined, and committed. You are going to be in all honors or pre-AP classes and in dual credit college courses. But remember, space is limited. We have 125 seats for ECHS, and we have 125 seats for P-TECH, with 25 of those seats being for the network administrator degree and 100 seats for the pre-med and pre-dental degree. We also have traditional magnet programs at North Garland High School. Math, Science, and Technology, or MST, and Accelerated Math and Science, or AMS. For Math, Science, and Technology, this is an emphasis on math and science courses and technology related to your career choice. You do have to have a 75th percentile MAP score in reading and math in order to apply for MST. When you do apply for MST and select your classes, AP or honors classes are required for math and science. It is up to you to choose AP honors or dual credit choices for other subjects such as English and history. You do earn extra GPA points for MST classes and you also take a CTE hands-on technology course designed for college readiness. We will go over those paths in just a moment. Also, other requirements for MST include community service, annual competitions, and we do offer college tours when available each year. The Accelerated Math and Science program is a is kind of like MST on steroids. It's a it's a beefed up version of MST. You are still taking honors and AP math and science courses, but at a much faster and accelerated pace, and you're also taking more science and math courses. Again, you have to apply with an 80th percentile in reading and math, and you also take AMS or honors classes for your math and science courses. You will take a fifth science in addition to your four science requirements for graduations, and depending on what track you are in for AMS, you could take a variety from five to up to, up to seven different math courses, also including dual credit. You can also choose to take MST technology classes along with AMS or you can do AMS by itself if there is a different pathway that you do not want to take from MST. To also speed you along we offer geometry in the summer so you can get that out of the way before you start your ninth grade year. We also have digital summer assignments and a summer boot camp that helps us get to know you and helps us place you on the right track for AMS. Just a few facts about our MST program. <clears throat> These are the course pathways offered for MST. The architecture, for example, is under the business and industry endorsement umbrella. Each one of these pathways falls under an endorsement for graduation that you have to choose with your counselor. 
as you can see, we have several pathways to choose from for the STEM field and business field. We get a lot of questions about whether you should do MST or PTECH. We have students that qualify for MST, but they may be interested in medical or Cisco administration. Um, just a couple of comparisons. For MST, you do have to have that MAP school requirement, whereas in PTECH, you do not have to have that. For MST, uh, you are focused on AP and Honors Math and Science, but you can take dual credit for other classes if you wish, and you can take as many of those as you want to. You do get medical or network tech classes every year with that technology pathway. <clears throat> in PTECH, because there are core classes that you have to take as well as AVID, there is a little less room for hands-on medical electives. So you may be able to take a few, but not as many as you would for MST because you are getting all of your honors and core classes out of the way for the 60 hours of college credit. The network admin core classes does include network hands-on dual credit classes as well as AVID. Just an example of a medical pathway, if you're an MST medical student, you also have the choice of doing three different certifications in pharmacy technician, EKG medical, or certified phlebotomy technician. So you are actually in a different technology medical class every year along with your advanced math and science courses. Application for MST and AMS is similar, to, is just like the ECHS and PTEC. You will fill that out in Skyward between January 6th and January 27th. However, if you are out of the district, you need to make sure you're pre-enrolled in Garland ISD and you have a Skyward account so you can access that magnet application. If you need to test for MAP scores, you can sign up for testing for February 6th and 13th at Rowlett High School. <clears throat> What scores are being used? Current 8th graders that are not continuing from Jackson, we look at your 8th grade fall map scores or your 7th grade spring map scores. We can also look at current PSAT. If you're a current 9th grader, we can also look at your 9th grade PSAT scores. Again, if you're new to GISD, you'll sign up for February for testing for your program. <clears throat> when you go into Skyward, everything that you are eligible to apply for will show up in your choice list. What else do we look at for MST? We do look at math and science report card grades, as well as attendance and your student code of conduct. A few facts about the AMS program. Again, you're on the fast track taking more math and science classes throughout high school. Uh, once you get into the AMS program, we do additional map testing to see where track you would like to place we would like to place you in. Also, the boot camp participation in the Summer Digital Binder helps us to get to know you and your needs so we can place you in the appropriate track. This slide explains the possible tracks you could take as an AMS student. All ninth graders will take Algebra 2, AMS Algebra 2, and Geometry. But again, you can also take Geometry in the summer to, to get that out of the way before your freshman year. Each track shows you the, the different pathways, and you can see that, for example, for track one, you will go from Algebra 2 to Pre-Cal, and then Calculus 1, and then Calculus 2 your senior year. Track 2 will go straight to Calculus 2, which includes Calculus 1 and 2 in the same year, and by their 12th grade year, they're taking two dual credit math courses. Calculus 3 is semester 1, and Discrete Math is semester 2, or excuse me, is semester 2. Track three, you are on an even faster track. Algebra two is covered the first semester. Pre-Cal is covered the second semester. 10th grade, you are in Calculus BC, which covers Calculus one and two. And then by your 11th grade year, you're again taking two dual credit classes. And in your 12th grade year, you're taking two more additional dual credit classes. You also have the choice to take statistics throughout any of these years. The biggest question we get for AMS and MST is, can we do both? And the answer is yes. Most of our students do both because they want the technology pathway with it, but that you don't have to. If you want to do AMS only, you could take AMS, for example, and then take business courses. If you have any additional questions or would like to read more about AMS or MST, please visit our website for some more extensive presentations on MST and AMS. 
and you can always email me if you have any questions. Thank you and have a great day.